That's what I've said. The plan must be led, the hunger must be fed. He was born at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital and his life saved at 16 years old at Sister Hospital KPH. And now, on the birthday of Bob Marley, he has given back to the tune of 63 much needed beds. This is just a little finger of the things that we want to do, but you know, we have to take with time. This has come at a very opportune time for us because we were able to immediately um, press into service these 63 beds and replace some of the older non-functioning ones. Rodney Price, a.k.a. Bounty Killer. Yeah man, it's a nice feeling, it's joyful. And goodness does lead to great and good feeling. And this is something good and then you see the response from the hospital and the minister. The fact that the minister came, that does put the stamp of approval on it as you see in parliament the man then and taking time out. So you see that is a good initiative, good gesture. It's a significant contribution. This hospital is a very large Taipei hospital, over 400 and 50, I think 470 beds. Um, at any point in time, there are more takers from beds that are available. We're always looking to improve and to expand capacity and to the extent that uh, Bounty Foundation has come in and, and, and filled a gap. It's an important gap and I think it will make the environment a lot more conducive in terms of treatment. This is a tremendous occasion on which Bounty Killer has decided to donate 63 beds to the KPH and the Victoria Jubilee Hospital. Already 25 have been put in use over by Victoria Jubilee Hospital. So it is a momentous occasion and I know it will lead the way for many other entertainers, many other corporate entities and those the regular Jamaican citizen to contribute to building our country. The donation made by Mr. Price is really significant. We have financing healthcare is a difficult problem and even in the first world countries it's common practice for concerned private citizens to take part and that's a re something we want to encourage in Jamaica. The Kingston Public Hospital and the Victoria Jubilee Hospitals are the final referral centers not just for Jamaica but for the English-speaking Caribbean and Jamaicans who live in the diaspora. I owe it to the public hospital as the hospital who took care of me when I got shot as a boy. And the whole, yes, the yeah. whole thing is augmented by that, that it delivered you to the world and then it... And it's been doing a could, great job. It could be credited for saving your life 60 years. Yeah, later. that's what I think, they saved my life. Because mm -hmm. it was a serious wound I got. It, it wasn't a leg wound. Save your lungs. Yeah, save my lungs and I have no complication, never. And you traded your voice. voice yeah. Is, <laughs> yeah. So then my little the angel them. And you're calling out for more to do this? Uh, yeah man, more this. should do it man, because this alone now go gone away. We should pull together. We as Jamaican, we're not talking now entertainers or music insiders, we are talking Jamaicans. Because everybody make it seem like you have to be a sorry, you have to be a rich person to help or to give. If you can give a dollar or you can give a word of encouragement, any good thing is a good deed. Mm -hmm. So we just want people to have these things in mind. Help who you can help, when you can. Don't go out of the way, but if you can stretch a finger or a dollar, do it.